Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can check your oil on a BMW without a dipstick. So this has an electronic dipstick so it uses a sensor rather than the traditional dipstick that you pull out and check the oil. So we're going to be checking the oil and I know that this car is low so I'm also going to show you how to top it up. Now you should be checking your oil at regular intervals but on this particular car the oil level has dropped. Sometimes when I turn off the ignition it's bonging at me and it's coming up with the oil lamp symbol but it's in kind of like an amber orange colour and in which case then it just means that the oil's low. So I know it's not immediate, if it was in red it means low oil pressure but in this instance it just means low oil. So let's show you how to actually check the oil. So what we have to do is we have to get our key and put it in the ignition. We are going to have to have the car running to do this. So foot down on the clutch and I'm going to start the car and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stalk here until we get to the oil symbol so I'm going to go up or down it doesn't matter but there you go you can see the oil symbol now and now I'm going to press in on the BC so I press in if you look closely you can see that the clock's moving round in like 15 second intervals and that can take up to three minutes to give you an accurate reading or it can take five minutes when driving. Now it's best to have your car on a nice level ground when doing this. Now I did this earlier and actually what's coming up with is coming up with just to minimum and it's saying plus one. So I know that I have to add one litre of oil to it or if you're in the US it would be one quart. Now, now it's not an exact science, BMW just recommend that you add a quart or a litre at a time. So basically the distance between the min and the max is one whole litre. Earlier on when I did the service it was roughly around halfway and obviously the oil's dropped now so because it's dropped to min it now is going to ask me to put in a whole litre but really if I was just to put in half a litre it would probably be where I was when I had it at the service but it's asking for a litre so I'm going to put in a litre. Now just to show you just the, while it's doing that I'm just going to show you what it says in the actual book itself so you can pause this and read it in your own time. Now these are the levels here you see that's okay that's waiting for the reading with the little clock this is minimum you need to add one liter or one quart that's max do not add any more and this is inactive and this is how to add the engine oil See there, it's still wearing away. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward through this bit now because it could take another two minutes. Also your car has to be warm when you do this. So if you have a look here it does say for precise measurement you need to be driving at least 10 kilometers, approximately 6 miles. There we go, so now you see it's come up with it and can you see it's at the very minimum and now it's saying plus one litre. Remember this is a, a UK car so we work in litres. Let me just show you that again. So again we go to here. Oil, press in on BC and there you go. You see there it's right at the minimum and plus one litre. So now I'm going to open up the engine compartment and now I'm going to put one litre of oil into the car and hopefully then we should be all okay again. So I'm just going to turn the ignition off Okay, so now it doesn't say anything, but sometimes it bongs at me and then it comes up with the warning light. Open up the engine compartment, we're going to be doing the bonnet release here. And now we're going to go around to the bonnet. Okay, now we're going to lift the bonnet up ever so slightly and there's a little catch here that we're going to just press. This bit here, and then that will open the bonnet up. Right, and here we have our oil filler cap, so we just need to turn this counterclockwise or anti-clockwise about a third of a turn and take that off there now it will be hot because we've just had the engine running and then we get a funnel and we put it in there and now we choose our oil you've got to make sure that you use the correct oil for your particular car and I want to use one litre if we have a look at the level here I've just marked what one litre is and now we just pour the oil in
Just pour it in bit by bit, making sure you don't overfill it. Okay, so now I'm happy with that level there. And now we just put the cap on and tighten it up. And now we're gonna take another reading in the car. And when you come to close your bonnet, stop it around 25 centimeters, approximately 10 inches above, and then you can let it go so it closes nice and firmly. Okay, so I've added the one litre of oil. My car's running again, I'm on a nice flat surface. So let's do this again and get a reading from it. On oil, in with the BC. And now I'm hoping it will read near the max. Now you can see that it says okay. Before it was at the minimum level, it said plus one litre. Now it's at the max level and it's saying okay. So we know our oil is okay. So just to recap, if it's this symbol up here, it just means normally low oil and you need to top it up as soon as possible. If it's just a can in red without this reservoir underneath it, that means you've got low oil pressure and that's really serious and you need to turn off your engine straight away. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.